In this video, I'm going to teach you how to control your Zoom meetings and webinars using the Elgato Stream Deck to make your meetings more efficient and organized. i have also been showing you all the settings you need to do within Zoom and the Stream Deck software to get this all set up correctly and where to get the icons. And if you don't have an Elgato Stream Deck yet, I'll leave a link in the description where you can go purchase one and pick one up for yourself. The icons are listed on the Etsy page, which will be in the description below as well. They're actually on sale at the moment. So if you want to pick them up for this month for a cheaper price before the sale ends, now's a good time to do so. If you're not with the Stream Deck, it has multiple uses and it acts as an extra keyboard for your computer and you can use it in multiple different ways. Now these icons are designed for the Zoom shortcuts so you don't have to worry about remembering complicated shortcuts or even just messing around with the computer screen as much. You can concentrate on your meetings and your webinars and just at the press of a button, change the action you need to do. So here I've activated the switch camera icon, which is synced up in Zoom as a shortcut as switch camera. So it's going from my webcam now to my mobile phone camera. There's a whole bunch of different icons here for different cameras. Open up the chat panel. Out of a push of a button, you can mute all the participants, which is really handy. You can mute yourself and have a visual cue of when you're muted or when your camera's on or off. You can do other shortcuts like exit and enter full screen mode. Open up the chat panel and open up invites for participants. Change from gallery to speaker view, pretty much any shortcut that's within Zoom. Now to set this up correctly, you're gonna to need to go to Zoom and hit the settings icon and go down to Zoom shortcuts. These are all the shortcuts we're gonna tell the Stream Deck software what to use when we press those buttons. And this is also where we can change the shortcut actions on the keyboard for Zoom if we need to. One important setting that we need to do within this menu is we need to tick use global shortcut within this Zoom application because otherwise if we press it on the Stream Deck, it's gonna do other shortcuts on the whole entire PC where we only want these shortcuts to be pressed once we're using Zoom. Now, the next thing you're gonna need as well is obviously the Stream Deck software. So once you have your Elgato Stream Deck, you wanna to go to the Elgato website, which I'll have linked in the description and download the Stream Deck software. So select which one you have. I have the normal one here, so I'm selecting that and it's just on Windows, you can do it for Mac as well. And just download that application and install it. This is the Zoom profile that's already built, but I'm gonna show you guys what it's gonna look like for you as you first get your Elgato and what to build. You'll see something like this with a blank profile, probably profile one and a little button in the middle, which you can just delete really easily by just clicking on it and hitting the little delete icon right here. Now to change your profiles, you select the top here and now I've gotten back to the original Zoom profile that I made earlier and you can swap between all different profiles if you need to. I'm gonna be creating a second profile and showing you the steps on how to do this with this one here. So if I select the original blank profile, you can change the name of it by just double clicking on the profile name here and just typing whatever name that you wanna call it. It's gonna call it Zoom2. To add these Zoom hotkeys, you want to scroll down on the sidebar here to system. And there's two that I use. There's hotkey switch and then a hotkey. So first we're going to do the hotkey switch, which switches between two different icons. All you need to do is click on the function that you want to add to your stream deck. So I'm doing the hotkey switch. So I'll just click on that and drag it into one of the buttons. This is where we add all our icons and all the Zoom shortcuts that we have within Zoom to make these functions work. So here we're adding the mute and unmute action within the Stream Deck and in Zoom as a shortcut. So here we can name the action here and we're giving it a mute and unmute. We don't want that on the screen, we wanna use the icon. So what we can do is we can select this little arrow here and we can just hide that text if we need to, if we don't want that there. Now we're gonna set the shortcut within Zoom and here, cause we're having a toggle switch, we've got two shortcuts to add. So it's just the same button to mute and unmute. So what we're gonna do is add the mute and unmute buttons to both of this, which is Alt A on Windows. Now that we've set that, if we press this on the Stream Deck, it's gonna mute and unmute within Zoom. And to add your custom Zoom icons that you've purchased through the store, all you need to do is hit this little top right arrow that brings down this box and select set from file and select and navigate to the folder where you've downloaded and installed the zip file of the icons and select the icon that you wanna use for the action that you've set. Now to set the second image, click on the second little circle here and do the same thing. And now we're gonna be selecting choose from file and navigating to the icon of the active mic. Since we've set this as a hotkey switch, it will switch between the two images once we press it. Now the next example is gonna be adding a hotkey, which is one image attached to it and one shortcut. And we're gonna be adding the open chat panel as an example here. So again, all we need to do is drag our hotkey to any of the available hotkey spaces. This one, all we need to do is set one image and one shortcut action. Again, we're gonna to navigate to the little drop arrow on top here and go set from file. Navigate to the chat icon here and select that as the image that we're gonna use. I'm gonna give it a title here, but I wanna get rid of the title. So again, I'm just gonna select here and then untick that so it doesn't display on the screen. And then all I do is gonna set the shortcut action here. Now when I press this, it's gonna stay the same, but it's gonna open up that shortcut and open up the chat panel within Zoom. 
If you don't already have a Stream Deck, I highly recommend investing in one. You can use it with anything really, any application on your computer. There's a lot of different functions you can do. You can set up multi-actions with this Stream Deck. So you could push a button, it could open up Zoom, OBS, all your web browsers, all your presentations, all of a click of one button. It is a very, very powerful tool and I highly recommend you considering adding this to your workflow if you already haven't got one. All the links to everything you'll need will be in the description down below. And if you need any help with it, just send me a message and I'll be happy to answer your questions in the comments. I hope this video helped you out and thank you very much for watching.